Welcome to hypoproliferative anemias. This video will review aplastic anemia. We have the following take home points. Aplastic anemia is really pancytopenia due to bone marrow hypoplasia. The primary treatment for aplastic anemia is immunosuppression. In appropriate patients, consider referral for stem cell transplantation. Aplastic anemia is a problem with hematopoietic stem cells that are aplastic or not being formed, leading to anemia, leukopenia, and thrombocytopenia. Aplastic anemia occurs when there is injury to hematopoietic stem cells. Although this injury can be due to viruses, toxins, or clonal cells, the injury is largely driven by autoreactive T cells, which recognize and attack hematopoietic stem cells as foreign. This leads to the absence of hematopoietic stem cells and bone marrow hypoplasia, manifested clinically as anemia, neutropenia, and thrombocytopenia. The goal of aplastic anemia treatment is to restore hematopoietic stem cell function while also supporting the patient with transfusions of packed red blood cells and platelets as needed and giving infection prophylaxis with antibiotics. Treatment consists of immunosuppression, we typically suppress the immune system with antithymocyte globulin and cyclosporin. Select patients receive additional therapy to stimulate the bone marrow with l -trombotin. Patients who are refractory to medical management or patients who are young and fit with a suitable donor are referred for hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. In summary, aplastic anemia is pancytopenia due to bone marrow hypoplasia. The primary treatment is immunosuppression. In select patients who are appropriate candidates for refractory to therapy, consider referral for stem cell transplantation. This ends our video on hypoproliferative anemia, aplastic anemia.